Okay, so we're just going to get started there now. So we have our windows open here now. <clears throat> okay, so the first question here wants us to create a new blank document. So we go into our file. We go to new. Blank document is selected here. It's no harm if you want to click on it. And we just click on the create. You'll actually see the new document creating. And we click on answer. So you'll be hitting answer at the end of each question. The next question wants to save the document to the Z drive using the file name show. So we go to the two important things you need to look at here. One is the location where you're saving it to, and the other one is the name you're saving it, saving it as. So we want to save it to the Z drive with the file name show. So we go to file, save as. You can see from the top here that it is saving to the Z drive. If you're not sure, it's no harm clicking on the Z drive just down on the left hand side there, just to show that you know what you're doing. And it also, you'll, learn, you'll see the Z drive there at the top. Into the file name section, we click in and we just type in show, taking into account that you want to make sure that it's case sensitive. So if it's giving you lowercase letters, make sure you put in lowercase letters. We click on save then. You'll see the name up here at the top in your title bar show, and we click on answer then. Okay, so the next question then, change the word username to Jim Brown. So we go to File and Options. This is backstage view in Microsoft Word. We go to File and Options. You can see at the minute here we have um, Sue Davis into it. We type in Jim Brown. In this case here, my initials are as JB anywhere, but just if they're not, change them to whatever it is. So if it's Jim Brown, put it to JB. If it's Sue Davis, put it to SD and so on. Okay. Make sure you then you click on the OK button. That's the most important thing. If you don't click on the OK button here, the initials and the username haven't been changed. It's only when you click the OK button that it actually registers and then answer. Okay, I want us to switch to print layout view mode. Now it can be done via the view tab and in here in print layout, or you can do it at the top here or at the bottom. You can see you have these five different buttons here at the bottom, and the one on the left hand side is print layout. So clicking on print layout will put it into print layout view mode for you and answer. Number Five then, once you to zoom the document to 105. Now, very rarely will you get a nice round figure like 110, 120, 130. You're going to get 105, 115, 195 maybe. <clears throat> so you want to use this option here. So it's the zoom level and you open the dialog box. So if you click the actual number down at the bottom here, you'll see you can put it to a percentage. So you can type in 105 or you can use the arrows to get to whatever number you want. Again, the most important thing is clicking on the OK button. You'll actually physically see the page behind Zoom or, or go in, OK? So you'll see it zoom down or zoom up, and you click on the Answer button then. Now, this type of question here, it's just a, it's like a screenshot, and it's asking you to, it's asking you to show the computer where you would click. So it, it's your way of showing them. So you can see where should you click to display the ribbon. Now, this button here, to see the wee arrow pointing down, will show and hide the ribbon. So when I click on that, it doesn't actually show or hide the ribbon. It just puts a green arrow to say that that's where you have clicked. Okay. Take into account that just because it's a green arrow doesn't necessarily mean that it's right. A lot of people associate green with correct. No matter where I click, it will show up as a, a green arrow. Okay. So we click on the answer button. <clears throat> It wants us to hide the non-printing formatting marks. This is the show and hide button, and it's the formatting symbols or formatting marks. So we click on it, and it hides them. We click on answer. At the top of the page, enter the word Smith to the right of John. Again, taking into account that it's a capital S. So you can see we have John here. Make sure it's right. So make sure you have your John space and then Smith. Just type it in and click on answer. Okay, in the paragraph beginning, if possible, enter the words parking between the words de and garage. Now you can see if possible is here. If you're not sure, and it's easy enough with this one here, you can see that there's the start of the paragraph, there's the end. If you're not sure where a paragraph starts and where a paragraph finishes, the easiest way to do it is if you locate the words, if possible, click three times in them, 
clicking three times selects a whole paragraph. So by clicking three times, and it shows you exactly where the paragraph is. So we know that this is the paragraph that we're dealing with. We want to enter the word parking between de and garage. So here you can see the words de and garage. We want to click and we want to type in parking. Now, I selected the words de and garage there, but I only selected them just to demonstrate where they are and to, to show you where they are. You wouldn't have to select them in this case. You just click in into the middle and type in the word parking. Make sure you have the space before and the space after, like that, and answer. Okay. The next question. In the paragraph beginning there, we'll change the word customers to guests. Now, it's just a case of going to the paragraph there. Well, you can see here's a paragraph there. Well, we want to change customers, which is here, to guests. So select the word customers and just type in guests. Okay, making sure you spell it properly. That that can be a, a way to lose marks easy by just spelling a, a, a word wrong. You have to remember this is a computer program that's... Um, seeing the answer when it comes back so there's no um middle ground it's either right or wrong so just by putting in maybe an e instead of an a or an r instead of an e so just be very careful that you put in the right ones it's, it'd be a pity to lose out on marks just for something like